Hello guys, today I am going to show you a quick and simple way to build a policy menu which you ask the user to accept certain privacy policy uh, or term of service before they can play your games. So the first thing you need to do is go to this link. I will share it on the description below. Uh, this is a, an open source plugin which is called Unity GDPR Concern Plugin developed by Yase Kula. So what you need to do is, by the way, the GDPR is stand for General Data Protection Regulation. So what you need to do is simply just download the package. Uh, yep, click here to download. Yeah, after download, just import to your Unity project. So go to your asset import package look for the simple gdpr package just make sure you import everything yeah okay okay cool now what you need to do is create a game object maybe uh create an md object we call this policy menu to be simple easy okay now we need a script for it so we are call this a uh, policy menu script so double click to edit so the first thing we remove the update method okay now we go back to the website let me look for the sample code which you can copy exactly the example code from I think over here just copy yeah just copy this part will do to show a GDBR dialog so I will just copy this part back to our start method then I will just place it so we need to implement a on close callback so we are just implement called private void on menu close so this will basically just debug Long warning will do policy accepted uh, something like this then we will do something else later so now we need to yeah cool now we need to now for this the ball the dialogue will be always show when the game start so we need to set save some setting so uh string we will call this policy key uh we will use a prayer prep to save the whether the user have accept the policy so let me check whether the user has accepted by loading from the player prep dot get integer will do so we are passing the key over here then the default value was by zero so if accepted certain this should be a uh, equal to one then we do nothing we just return else we'll show the dialog so on the menu close we will just use a prayer prep to set the key to one that's it this will tell the apps the user has accepted the privacy policy so let me paste some simple url from google um, this is a privacy right uh, go back to code uh, you can set your privacy policy link over here Mm. Why? Oh, okay. Oh, shit. This. I hate this. Sorry. Oh. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let me do some. <gasps> Forgive me. The simple and easy way. Okay, let me paste an item of service here. Mouse is a cool. Yep, you can set your thermal service over there and the privacy policy link link over here. So what we need to do is try to place a script to the voice menu. That's it. You can place your menu at the start, the first scene of your game. So we are just look for privacy menu. Yep. Then we are try run it. Yeah, as you can see, you are saw a the dialog from the plugin so this will go to your policy link and of course
cost the other, you will go to a term of service link. So basically, you go back to after the user accepted, it will not show after that. Cool, as you can see. The, it will only show the first time until the user is accepted the privacy policy. So let me test on a mobile. So as you can see, I have a Android simulator over here. Let me change the build setting. Android. This will take some time when I switch the platform. Mm. Okay, cool. Uh, change the player setting to something else. Policy tutorial. Okay, cool. And then and build and run. Let's try. So this is a demo. So now we try to. Wait for the build. Then should be good to go. Yeah, this will take some time. You might want to skip the video for one minute, around one minute. Maybe for the first time, I should view it first before I working on this tutorial. Cool. Now, as you can see, the app is building where we have the privacy policy menu. Let's try to click it. Well, go to yeah. Uh, no thanks. Not sure whether I have a good internet or yes, it does. Cool. Okay, cool. Let me go back to the apps. So once I accept it, it will not show anymore. Even I close the apps. So let me try to open again. Yep. So now what I will test is. When I try to install it, uninstall it, it will. Then I try to install again. Then it should prompt the user again for to accept the policy. Because the setting to check whether the user is accepted is on the prayer prep this one should be faster mm. cool as you can see mm, this is a simple quite a simple way to how you build a policy dialog so by, by the way, um, I, if you want to just show the privacy policy, you can, what you need to do is just go back to your script and just remove the term of service link. So let me, when you build it again, Mm, this will take some time. Yeah. It will just show one link instead of two. We should restart the apps after that. Oh, as you can see, um, uh, maybe the title is not really updated, but 
this will show only one privacy policy link. So I think that's it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial helps you. If it did, please give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.